I love I love OBS. I <sighs> thought I was recording last time, but no. I had uh, whatever. I shouldn't use hotkeys. That's that's my real problem. I shouldn't use hotkeys and trust the recording. Anyway, this is through abandoned the forest, and um, this is technically the second game. Let me just make sure my save was deleted. Um, this is technically the second game in a three-game series, but apparently the first one is more like a prologue. I took a peek at the reviews. Um, I really like the art in this game. It kind of has this interesting, like, mist vibe and some surreal stuff going on. Um, but I heard that the... the... Oh, the door doesn't open when you go through. Huh, whatever. Um, it has some, like, misty vibes, and uh, the, the reviews kind of said that the first game was, like, really rough. And that's often, especially if it's the creator's first game, Spooky Skull, um, that tends to be the case. It's a little bit rough, and so I figured we'd just jump right into two. Brother, I'm glad you followed me. You're currently standing on the threshold of an amazing new world, a forest world. I hacked the local neuro interface and linked it to myself. Some kind of global network. One of the functions allows me to leave messages. The neuro interface is key to my DNA. Since you're my twin, you should be able to access them as well. Okay. Conspicuous. Alright. Mr. Skull. Uh-oh. There's puzzles. It's a point-and-click puzzler kind of game. Um, it shouldn't be too long, so you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll probably go through the whole thing. Missing lever. Classic. Is that how that works? You pull the... <laughs> you pull it like a choo-choo train thing, and then the vines come down. Okay. Oh. Now give, put your foot, put your foot on and just step down. You, you gotta, you're not getting the right leverage. Alright, it, it wants me to use this. You could totally bust that off though. It's just a question of leverage, but whatever. Kids these days. They want their tools and their, their iPhones and they want to use fire to cook their foods. Dad, I don't want to get infectious diseases. Fuck you, son. Anyway. Bucket, get the bucket! Oh, oh, you can't get the bucket. Come on, you always gotta get the bucket! You always need the bucket in the point-and-click games. This this guy doesn't know how to be a point-and-click protagonist. If there's an object that doesn't seem to be there for a reason, it's you gotta get it. This world's been abandoned like all the others. But unlike the underground city where the signs of the runaway were all over the place, trying to figure out who these people were... Oh, here the signs of the runaway people are all over the place. I'm trying to figure out who these people were. Why did they flee and where did they go? A lot of questions. So far, I know that the tree, the foot of which you're standing, consists of several levels. Try to move on to the second level. Perhaps the strange mechanism that ruins the temple, the attached ropes on the first door will help me. You know what? I don't remember when I got this game, by the way. I don't know if this was a review copy or if I just bought this or what. Sometimes, oh, oh. Hey, Vern, did you, did you, put, the, uh, did you put that shovel up on the tree? Yeah, Vern. I put that. I put that shovel up there, Vern. Thanks, Vern. It's, you know, tree shovel. You wouldn't want the um, the twelve foot squirrels to get access to your shovel, so you got to put it real high up there. It's a valid concern in this world. You don't understand. Um, ooh, got some ominous black figures. And I appear to be, like, hiding outside of the room and, like, peeking in. I guess it's just, you know, otherworldly perspective. Like, this is the wall, but... You know what? Oh, it's like one of those, uh, um... What, what is that called? Cross-section books? I freaking love those things as a kid. There would be, like, cross-section things of, like, you know, feudal castles and stuff with all the dudes, like, pouring hot oil on each other and stuff. Good times. Good times. Do you know the people that think a feudal system would be better? Like, neo-feudalists? Like, good god, people are stupid. Uh-oh, we gotta line up things. Oh! <laughs> Guys, I'm a genius. I'm the meanest genius! Speed run, let's go! Yeah, I gotta go fast. Alright, no, not, not speed run. <laughs> little, a little serendipity never hurt anybody. Uh... The ladder, the ladder thing is open now. I think. That was, was that there? 
Why is that? Can we go up now? Oh. Eh. Oh! Oh, that looks familiar. Oh, 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 oh. I see what we gotta do here. Yep. Alright. Pop that in there. Alright. Man, this really does feel like mist. That that treetop world? That just gets me back here. Oh, but you know what? You know what? Puzzle game tip. Puzzle game tip. Any time that there's a shortcut back to a place that is otherwise otherwise like a one-way kind of thing, there's always something. Yep, 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 yep. There's always something different. You always got to go back and check out what's different because there's always some reason to do that. I'm starting to understand the purpose of this forest. Similar to a transfer station, some kind of global network of the worlds. Every tree in the forest has doors linked to each other. Inhabitants of the forest could probably manage them and provide access to those who are traveling across the worlds. These doors are linked to thousands of different worlds. Incredible. So we got a key. We got three keys, actually. Not sure we need... Well, they're, they're for doors, obviously, but... Ah! Oh! That looks familiar. Alright. <laughs> I can see... I can see your swirly portal graphics behind the tree. Oh, I'm gonna have to take 50 points off. Sorry. Okay. That doesn't do me any good. Is there... Oh! Okay. Uh... I kinda wish you- oh, there we go. I kinda wish you'd just tell me which key- Is that? <laughs> it's so weird that you gotta reopen the doors. Um, wish it was easy to tell which key was what. It seems unlikely the forest people created the doors. There are signs that they were just managing them, while the actual creators used- came from a different world. <laughs> I, I get that this is necessary for world building, but like, try to imagine what signs that he saw <laughs> that could possibly indicate this. Like, oh yes, this scraping here clearly indicates that a, a lower race was was merely managing the, 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 the institute and... Alright, you've got me. I'm, I'm not really an archaeologist. I'm a paleontologist. I've been lying to you all. I've been lying to you all. <laughs> I see some similarities between the ruins of the temple and the ceremonial constructions of the underground city. Apart from that, same strange symbols are located all over the place. It seemed like the forest people and the underground people honored the same powerful beings. Perhaps those beings are the engineers, creators of the Doors network? Ah, uh, yes. Microsoft Doors. Much better than Windows. You ever tried to get your fat butt through a window? It's difficult. Door? Not a problem. That's ominous. And I don't like... Mom, I don't want to go to the dentist. It's really weird. He's got like cameras and he's got the he's got the urethral penetrator I just don't think that is involved with dentistry I didn't go to dental school but oh get the bucket get the torture bucket oh we can't get the torture bucket oh well there's some um, alien kanji over here can't seem to do anything with it ah good spooky ambience music this isn't really a horror game but it's got some good vibes going on. Some like, well, some ominous vibe. Whoa, Parker, <laughs> would you calm down, please? I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> he interrupted the first video too, though, so he's like, no human. Just because you start over doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're free from my interruptions. I don't think there's any reason not to put that down there. This is one thing that bugs me in like these more open puzzly things. There's like little bits of puzzle that you, can't, you don't really need to later, but you don't know. Like, you're never sure when you need them, but you're like, well, maybe I'm supposed to screw around with the... the thing. And the... Excuse me. I think it... I, I think it froze. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it froze. Um, hold on. Um... Oh, thank goodness. It, yeah, it, it auto-saves. It also gave me achievements after I closed it. I didn't see any achievement pop-ups during the game, but maybe it's trying not to, like, interrupt your gameplay. I've seen some games do that. I kind of like the idea for, for like, horror games or, like, more immersive stuff. 
Well, we got the tricorder. Um, you know, it kind of tries to not... Um... Alright, so we need one more inanimate carbon rod. And then uh, we can do things, I guess. Spooky, scary Skullingtons. Um, I'm getting a skull vibe from this game. I don't know if you're getting that. Um, yeah, all the showing achievements, like once you get to a save point, um, or you know, or you're done for the day or whatever. I think that's kind of interesting because it doesn't like, you know, you're not like, oh, pop ups during gameplay, how immersive. Alright, now we can't do anything in here. What was, oh no, it was just this. Alright, so we got a little metal wandy thing that they, you know, rub on your junk at the airport, I guess. Um, I've been going through several doors. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> a little tickle in the throat. I've been through several doors, visiting worlds where the forest people would go. My searches have already yielded some results. I know that the forest people have to go gone to a special place called the Refuge. They were trying to hide from something, something dangerous. Still not clear to me exactly what it was. I must find the entrance to the Refuge. Ah, there we go. I wish it was more clear where, with the, uh, what key the, uh, door went, went to. Getting my exercise in today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, getting getting those working those legs out. I, mean, I used to be on like the eighth floor, of the honors dorm in college, and um, I missed that. That was a lot of stairs and a lot of walking and just very casual. But like you did it every day. The best shape I've ever been in my life. I need to like, <laughs> I need to not live on the first floor of a building. So let me guess. Oh. Secret code. Smash it with a uh, thing. Ah, oh, we gotta invade its privacy rights. Uh, say again. Uh, one more time. One, two, uh, da, da, da. Ah. I I I didn't input. All of them in order, but I, I guess that works. Who smashed up the elevator? Man, what's that elevator ever done to you? Ooh, a button! I love buttons. I found a blueprint. Evidence of a secret entrance to the temple ruins. I love in video games when there's just like, button is like the only important aspect of a machine. And you just need a button, you just slot in the button, all of the rest of the machine suddenly works. Usually, let me tell you a secret. Usually the button is just like a fancy like there's just there's still an actuator if you remove the button and you can just press it down with your finger. Um you you've probably seen them if you've ever accidentally knocked a keycap off your uh, keyboard. They're just convenient and ergonomic and pleasing to look at. They're often not <laughs> like magical, but whatever. Um I found a blueprint evidence of a secret entrance under the temple ruins. Something strange inside it, similar to a coffin or sarcophagus. What do the forest people hide so well? Or whom? Or whom so evative? Oh. Well. He's got some style and shades. Or he was probably blind, I guess, but... <laughs> Rest in peace, old man Jenkins. You were the best. Eating books. I guess if you're blind, you may as well eat books. I mean... He wasn't going to read him. Got a nice fork there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, though. Look at that delicious brick. Maybe that's why he died. He's been eating bricks. He was blind, so obviously he couldn't tell the taste of brick. Okay. Uh oh, that's gonna be dead. That's gonna be bad. Um, so Y's go here. X is oh. I've already wasted things. I, I feel dumb, stupid now. I 
feel big dumb. Alright, get the Ys over there. Uh, get the Y. Ys. Uh. Wait, no, these are... Oh, oh shoot. I need these. These go here. Okay. I'm gonna run out of things. Okay, X is done. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I was like two things away! Aw, oh, okay. Nah, we in this, we in this. Um, uh, Alright, that one's done. I'm gonna get that out of there. That in there. Uh, that's... Okay, that's done. Uh, there's that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whew. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Panicked for a little bit there, but you know, we're good. You know, this thing doesn't look that sturdy. I bet you could just smash it open, but whatever. It's, it's puzzle games. Is that all old man Jenkins got? Just got a key. What a life. Just sitting on a prison bed with a chair, eating books. Well, we got a we got a button and a key. So I'll consider that a success. Isn't there a super creepy pasta that's um, based on this concept? It's just like a infinite stairwell. It's it's a lot creepier when you read it than than when you like explain it. But it's just basically infinite stairwell. I mean, you'd be really fit, though. Hi there. I'm Future Tap Tap, speaking to you from the future. So, I ended up recording this very haphazardly, and I kind of need to split it up into reasonable segments. It ended up about an hour long, so we're going to do 15 minutes, which means I'm stopping right here. And there's going to be about four videos. By about, I mean exactly. So... This is where we end off here. Enjoy the infinite staircase. Next time, we will continue with more Abandoned Through the Forest 2. And just as a little heads up from the future, I will be doing the other games in this series. Heck, I may even play the first one and publish it before this. I haven't decided on that yet. So maybe you'll be from the future and be able to tell future me that, that other things happen in the future. Oh, man. Future headache. Future headache. Well, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Coming up with more Flash game puzzles and um, all that kind of stuff. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.